Good morning, everybody. We are here in the nursery tunnel today with Izzy and Phil. Hello. Hello, everybody. So we are here today. I'm going to zoom in because we are starting a Grow Along With Us challenge this year. And step one of Grow Along With Us is to sow some seeds. So I hope you've got some chilli seeds at home ready to sow. You can see here Izzy has got her sewing station all set up. Izzy, do you want to tell us what is in those cell pots to start with? Sure. I've got fine grade vermiculite, which you can see there as well. Um, this is a really good medium for growing chilli seeds in. It's really good at keeping moisture and keeping contact at all times with the seeds, which is what they really want. The only thing we found that is, obviously, it's got no nutrient at all. Like, it's, it's, there's no feed in it it's just plain so when i am watering in after i've sown the seeds we add a little bit of chili focus mm -hmm. to our water just to give it a little bit of nutrition so perfect and how many seeds are you sowing to a cell roughly oh these are some new varieties that we're doing so we've only got a small amount but i can usually do up to about 100 per cell oh wow okay so that means for us we can do loads in one go which is what we need for all of our crops and everything that we sell so you don't need to sow them that densely that's more for us because no of the it's just something that we up. do but you can so okay. there'll only be i think around 20 at the moment for these new varieties that we're doing so they've got a bit more space to breathe yeah and is that a good kind of density would you say well yeah it's quite sparse yeah so they've got lots of space to grow lovely okay so we're sprinkling those on we've got by the look of it nine new varieties which we're adding today and i know that among these is a couple of new super hots i can see the word seven pot written in a few places we've got a new jalapeno that we're trying out and we've got a couple of rocotto varieties so this is a strain that we don't grow that much of at the chili farm um it's not in any of our recipes but it is a whole kind of subspecies of chili all of its own. So we're trying a few of those this year. We'd love to have a few of them on our stand at the Mulvern Spring Show RHS if you are kind of come and catch us there. Um, so we'll see how these come out. Phil's just told us they are one of the slower chilies to get going. So <laughs> we might be pushing our luck a little bit, but we've got nice warm growing conditions in the tunnels today. It's what temperature is it? Has anyone looked at the thermometer 35. recently? Cool. That's warmed up. It was it was in the single digits when Izzy got in this morning. So it doesn't take long to heat up these no, days. It's nice and toasty in here at the moment. I'm a bit overdressed actually and wearing a jumper. So this is what's this going in here? That's the jalapeno. Oh, an extra seed. Nearly got away there. <laughs> so Izzy, what's the next step after you've sown? After you've popped these seeds on top of the vermiculite, I will sprinkle like another fine layer of vermiculite over the top, not too thick, but also not too sparse, so the seeds are poking through. Um, and then I will water them in, and I'll put them in our props, which sit at about sorry propagators, which sit at about thirty degrees, so a nice warm environment. And we will hopefully start to see some stuff germinating in one to two weeks. Good. So that will be our next update then in a week or two. You can see as these popping up. So it's not too much. Uh, light layer over the top of the seeds there. Lovely. And then she's going to give them a little water. So we've got a sort of pump situation going on there. I don't know what the, the name for that a is. Sprayer. A sprayer. <laughs> Um, so we will use that and this water, is it, what temperature is the water? Is it cold out the tap or is it? No, so I will fill it up most of the way of cold at the tap and then I'll usually put like a bit of a boiling kettle in it as well just to sort of bring up the temperature to sort of room temp I guess. Okay. And then I'll put in some feed as well because like I said there's no nutrients in this at all mm. so it gives them a little bit of something. And we're using the Chili Focus feed for that, which is the one you can buy through the website as well. And that on the um, tub for the feed will give you the right ratio to mix with water. So you can see Izzy's giving each cell a generous amount of water. 
Yeah, you want to see some of the water starting to come out the bottom. That means, that means like, there you go, mm. it's fully saturated. So that's what you want. You don't want dry patches within it. Which can be a bit time consuming, but <laughs> it's all worth it in the end. It is. Well, all of the rest of the seeds in the nursery are now seedlings. And they're all needing watered at least once a day at the moment, aren't they? Yep. So that's going to be my job later this afternoon. And Phil behind Izzy is filling up trays of soil so that Izzy can keep pricking out baby seedlings. I've got lots coming out. Certainly have. But they're all looking nice and healthy, which we like. Yeah, I think the sun has really helped this week, so... Yeah, long may this weather continue, please. I mean, it's March, you never know if we're going to get snow next week, but... I know. <laughs> so I'm going to take you for a little look at the propagators, because that's where Izzy's going to bring this in a minute. Right, here are the propagators. A big, long row of them. You can see there. I've got their lids off right now because it's super warm, like we said, in the tunnels. Um, but overnight, we put the lids back on, which keeps these all lovely and warm. You can see some of these are very newly sown and only just starting to poke their heads up. That's some reaper there that's very slowly coming up. And some of them, right at the other end of the spectrum, like these, which are ready to prick out. So, like Izzy said, in one to two weeks, we should hope to see a bit of action like this. I mean, you can see the date on those reapers is the 21st they were sown. So that is like one and a half weeks ago, I think, isn't it? Here we are, just bringing these. More Find a space. Finding the space <laughs> now. There you go, put okay. some down. Yep, some more. So these will st sit here for the next... How long will they sit in here, do you think, even once, they're, once they've germinated? A few weeks? It's two weeks. So obviously some of the anums and stuff are too quick to grow are in there for like just under two weeks and then I'll take them out to harden them off. But mm. the super hot stuff, I did two, two to three weeks that they were staying here. Right. Easy. So if you've got a heated propagator at home, then get your seeds in there straight away. Or use a warm... Airing cupboard sometimes? Yeah, you just want to make sure you've got light, obviously, once they germinate, that's all. But um, it's warmth to get them to germinate. Warmth to get them to germinate, and then some light, sunlight, so like a good window sill. Somewhere warm in your house, kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's them. All right, so that's stage one complete. So, thanks, Izzy, for that demo. And we'll check in in two weeks and see how these guys are looking. See you then. <laughs>